Hello everybody, Brent Johnson here with Heartfield Automation. This week I'm going to start a series about open robotics and basically what that is is we, we're going to be able to run a full 6-axis or delta style robot or SCARA robot from a BNR controller. It's a great feature that BNR offers. It eliminates the need for an additional robot controller in your machine. Kind of similar to if you have two different brains in one system. In typical traditional automation cells you have a robot with a robot controller and that will be handshaking with your PLC or your controller of your machine. Whereas with a BNR system all the control and robotic kinematics is done right in the robot or right in the BNR controller. It's a super powerful feature with BNR and it's one of the greatest features that I like about uh, this product line. So let's jump into it. All right, everybody, here we are. I created a new project and I named it my first open robot, robot project. And then I saved it to a spot that I'm gonna know where I saved it. I'm using this controller, the same controller we've been using throughout these tutorials. This is the Compact S484. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna keep the system designer up. If you don't have that open, it's really easy to open if you go to physical view and you just kind of click on the system designer, it will just pop it up right here. Next, what I want to do is right, just highlight over the controller and right click on it and click on configuration. What we're going to do is we're going to go down to resources. Once we get to resources, click on the plus sign next to cyclic task classes. And we're going to be doing moving, having our project be in cyclic number one. That's going to be the highest speed cyclic in our project. And so go ahead and op explode that by hitting the plus sign. And then we want to change the tolerance from 10,000 microseconds to zero. So go ahead and do that. And then go ahead and hit save all and then you can close out of that. All right, the next thing step we want to do is we got to want to go to configuration view here. What we want to do is we want to, you might, it might look like this. So just explode it, go over to the controller and hit the plus sign and then go down to map motion. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to search for map robotics. So go ahead and click map, check map robotics, then go down to object hierarchy, then double click this right here. It will get added in over here in the configuration view underneath map motion. Next thing we want to do is uncheck object hierarchy and then click, make sure you've clicked map robotics and then click mechatronic designs. And we're going to do a six axis robot. So go down here and just double click on the six axis robo arm A. That will get added right down here. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to double, we want to add some drives to this project. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and highlight over the power link port because that's what we use to control drives. And then go to the search over here and click on motion. And then we're going to do the P3 drives. The P3 drives, as you recall from some of my other tutorials, those drives can come in a single axis, dual axis, or three axis drives. We're going to do two three axis P3 drives to cover the six axes or six motors that are in each joint of the robot. So click on motion. And then I'm just going to type in the start typing in the part number for a 3 axis 8.8 .8 amp drive. So that part number starts with 8EI8X8MWT. That T in that stands for triple or three axes. So right here, just go ahead and double click on it. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to skip these pages here. So we're just going to use the encoders that are in. Uh, in the system right now. We might want to change this in, in the real in the real robot. We'd have to figure out what the actual feedback is and stuff like that. And that's what you would get from the robot manufacturer who sells the open robot. But for now we're just going to skip the page. So check skip, then hit next. Then we're going to skip this, hit next, skip this, hit next, skip this, and hit finish. Then let's do the same thing. Make sure you highlight it over power link and then double click on that same drive again to add the second drive. And same deal, let's skip everything here.
All right, so we've got our we've got our drives added to the project. Now what we can do is we can configure each one of these drives. So go ahead and right click on it and hit configuration for the first drive. And now what we need to do is we need to do the access reference for each channel. So let's go to access reference for the first one. Click on this white space there. Hit the drop down and we're going to do G axis Q1. Then go ahead and hit our sorry go ahead and scroll down to channel 2 and we're going to do the axis reference for this one just click the drop down and G axis Q2 and then we'll go down to the third channel and we'll do the same thing for this axis reference and we're going to do G axis Q3 go ahead and hit save all and then you can close out of that let's go to our second drive right click on it hit configuration and then we're going to go to our first channel under Access Reference, hit the click in the white left click in the white space, and then click the down arrow, and we'll do G Access Q4 for that channel. Then go to channel two and go to Access Reference, click in the white space, then click on the drop down menu, and then click G Access Q5, and then let's go to our last channel of the second drive, channel three. Click on the white space for Access Reference. And then click the drop down and the and click on G axis Q6. Go ahead and hit save all and then close out of there. We're all set. I'm gonna end for this week right here. Next week we're actually gonna add the programs and we'll move the program to that first cyclic task class. Talk to you next week. All right, guys. I hope you learned a lot this week. I hope you learned how to add our different hardware and some of the configuration stuff that is needed for our first robotics project. I'm really excited. This is going to be a great project. We're going to, in the end, we're going to run the simulation and in turn, this would actually run a real open robot, yeah, robot like a six axis robot. It's really a powerful feature with BNR and the BNR hardware. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you stay safe. If you do like these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. I have a lot of other great content just like this that may be helpful for your next automation project. Have a great weekend.